Welcome to the Boston area. This is what I'm talking about. Now, this isn't one of those warehouses that are right off the highway. You gotta go into the city. Well, this is actually Everett, this isn't Boston. But this is the kind of stuff we're talking about. There's the dock. Look at the street. It's a two-way street, but there's only one lane. One side doesn't have any cars parked on it. One side does. This is a situation where I'm gonna have to wind up backing in blindside while traffic is going in both directions. It's not too bad now, but the receiver just warned me that in about an hour and a half, this place is gonna be nuts. And it would have been very difficult to back up into this place. But this is what we're talking about when we make deliveries for CNS Wholesale Grocer, UNFI, uh, Frito-Lay. These are the type of places we gotta go in and out of in the most uncomfortable hours in many cases. And under conditions like this, you gotta protect your license. You can't just be bumping into things, crashing into things. That's not gonna work. I'll see you guys later on, maybe today. We made it in safely. Blindsided right in. Created some traffic for both sides. But I didn't rush to get in here. I got out a couple of times, make sure that the trailer was turning into the right direction. I got out again to make sure I wasn't crushing anything, breaking anything, uh, making sure that the trajectory of the trailer backing up didn't change. Got it in, one pull up. Nobody got angry, nobody honked their horns. That was kind of cool. They were patient. But uh, let's see if I can show you. What did I just do? Did I just take a picture? Wait, here we go, right? So here's the spot. I could have pulled up into that space right there. But I didn't really need to. But as you can see, traffic is building up I had a pretty decent line of cars to my right and a pretty decent line of cars to my left let me lower the window so you can see it a little better I got I got a slight tint there's the dock if you can see it in the rear view mirror there's the dock But traffic is moderate. It's not too bad. It's not like that experience I I told you guys about in New York City. But this is the deal with driving in the city of Boston, in the city of New York, towns and cities in Long Island. Jersey City, Hoboken, Weehawken, Passaic, Patterson, Baltimore, Philly, Chicago. Well, back in the day, I wasn't going out to Chicago, but the other towns that I did mention, the other cities that I did mention, 17 years of that. Now, you go into the interior of the city... And every day there's a new situation. Every day something change, changes rather. There might be a car parked in a location where it wasn't parked before, making it a little more difficult for you to back into the dock. So every day there was a new challenge when you were delivering in these cities. And now 
cities like Boston, Philly, Baltimore, Jersey, you miss an exit, you might have to travel a long distance to get back to the point you need to be so you can get to the store you're delivering to. All this stuff is in the interior of the cities. You're not getting off the highway right into a warehouse. That's not what was happening when you were working for Webster Trucking or BH Trucking, hauling for CNS Wholesale Grocer. That wasn't happening with UNFI. That wasn't happening with Frito-Lay with their GES deliveries going direct to stores. There were locations where if you missed, if you missed the turn, you're going to be driving for a good long while before you got there. Some of the complications. But like I said before, two to four years, you build up that confidence that you know how to handle these trucks. And that's when things become dangerous. That's when people usually become arrogant and start making mistakes and eventually put themselves in a bad situation where they can get their license suspended, revoked, or just build up points to where if you wanted to go from one company to another, it would become very difficult. We'll leave you guys with that. Stay fresh. Keep it moist. And to all your CB Latino fans out there, what happened?